This is a lesson on exploring rectangles with equal area. Remember, last lesson was on equal perimeter, so we're flip-flopping. Now, some things that you need to know about rectangles with equal area. Um, the units for area has, um, it's a little two going up high um, after, <clears throat> after the units to show that it is uh, two-dimensional. So this is an example. You would go one centimeter squared, and you would call it, you would say squared for the two. Okay, um, so that's the first thing that you need to know. It is important to put um, the units as well every time you are writing a measurement. Um, next thing is that in order to find area, you can multiply the length by the width. Um, Next one is rectangles with equal areas can have different perimeters. So just like rectangles with uh, the same perimeter can have different areas, you can switch it and you can have the same area for all of the rectangles and a different perimeter. Okay, now one thing that you should take note of is that rectangles that are long and skinny will have a larger perimeter compared to those with the same area that are closer to a square shape. Okay, um, so those are the basics of what you need to know for this lesson. Now, let's look at an example that we'll do together. So it says, draw all possible rectangles with a perimeter of 12 centimeters squared. Now, the way that you find um, the squares is you find all of the numbers that 12 can divide by. So for example, the first one is always the easiest one is everything is divisible by one. So I could do a square that is one centimeter wide, or I guess long, and 12 centimeters wide. Whichever one, or rectangle, sorry, not a square. Um, and I'm going to go up here. I'm not sure how much space I'm going to need at this moment, but I will go down one and then across 12. So there's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my rectangle is going to look like this. And I will make it so that you can see it because we don't want to color that in so that we can't see. So there's our first rectangle and we would label that. So we would write um, there we go, get my pen out, we would write a 1 here, and we would write that there is a 12 here. Okay, just like we did with perimeter. Now, the next one, you just go up, so we have 1. Now let's see if we can divide 12 divided by 2. Well, we can, because we can divide any even number divided by 2. Um, so if I have 2 squares... Um, I can skip count by twos until I get to 12 as I'm drawing. I can go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I have to have 12 scare, scares, 12 squares in each of my uh, rectangles that I draw. Okay, so this one has 12 squares again, but this time we have two here, two down, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, six across. And I know this is right, because if I go two times six, that equals 12, just like I said. Um, next one is we do, okay, we've got one, two, let's try three. Let's try three. Can we skip count by threes until we get to twelve? Let's see. So we've got we've got three, six, nine, twelve. Yes, we can. We can skip count by uh, threes until we get to twelve. Oops, I would like that different. There we go. So I will label this again. And this time we've got three. And over here we've got one, two, three, four. 
So we've got a 3 and a 4. Now we can try 5. I know it's not going to work, but this is how you would find out if you weren't sure. Um, you could either see if you can skip or divide 12 by 5, or you could do just like we've been doing. We can try to skip count by 5s to get to 12. So here's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. So we've got 5, 10, 15. Well, 15 is too high and 10 is too low. So we can't do that one. So we've now found all of our rectangles, um, which is 3. We've got uh, 1 by 12, 2 by 6, and 3 by 4. Okay? So in our areas, if we were going to write all of the areas in there to show, they would all be 12 centimeters squared. Okay, so it's pretty um, basic. Once you get to know how to find the possibilities, then it's just a matter of uh, drawing them out. So on the next page, if you flip it over, is the practice. And so it's a problem, um, but it's basically doing what we just did. So it says the Magic Carpet Store has donated 36 congruent squares of carpeting to Miss Bashforth's grade 5 class. The students plan to place the squares together to make a rectangular carpet for their reading nook. So the first thing that you need to do is use the grid paper, uh, find all of the possible rectangles that, that the class can make using all 36 squares, and then what you need to do is record the measurements of each rectangle in the table below. So here's the table. I made it for you. So you have to write the length and the width. And it doesn't matter which one you write as length and which one you write as width. Um, as a general rule, I go across is length and down is width just to keep it organized, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, then you also need to record the perimeter around each rectangle and the area. And remember, each area is going to be the same for this lesson and um, it is 36 will be your area. So please pause the video and then we'll go through it together once you have completed it. All right and I'm just going to explain the first uh, couple of rectangles just in case you weren't sure how to get started. Um, so fast forward if you know that you've gotten it but um, there is 36 so we need to have 36 and like I said you can go 36 across Okay, and I just had to pause the video and make my squares look like what your squares now look like because uh, I realized there wasn't 36 squares to draw. Um, <clears throat> whoops. So I will draw my square that is 1 down and 36 across. So we've got 1 and all the way. Okay, so there it is. I had to pause and count to make sure. Looks like it's 37 across. So this one would be 36 right here. Um, so you could write on here uh, 1 and 36. Um, yeah, then you need to um, find what 2 would be. So it'd be, basically it would be half this because uh, 1 is half of 2. So um, then we would go 2 and then skip count by 2's to get to 36. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. So there's my rectangle with uh, another 36 squares. Just this time it is um, half the length and twice the thickness. All right, um, <clears throat> so and that would be 18. Half of 36 is 18, so I didn't count, I just knew. Um, but I'm going to pause the video and put the rest of the rectangles. So if you have not done so already, please put the rest of the rectangles and then play again once you're done. Okay, so you should have five rectangles. Um, one is 1 by 36. Two is or another one is 2 by 18, we've got 3 by 12, 4 by 9, and 6 by 6. So we've got a perfect square here. Um, okay, so the second part was to fill in the chart using the rectangles. 
Um, so I will pause the video and fill in the lengths and width widths. Make sure you have your lengths and widths in there as well. And also do the perimeter and area if you know how. <clears throat> okay, so I've already got my uh, first perimeter in there, and you could go up and, and count each of the sides, but also mathematically, um, we learned this last time, but the other in the other direction, uh, to find the perimeter, just add the length plus the width, and then double it. So 36 plus 1 is, is 37, and then 37 plus 37 is 74. Okay. Um, next up is 18 plus 2 would be 4, or it would be 20, and then double 20 would be 40. Uh, the perimeter for the next one would be 12 plus 3 is 15. Double 15 is 30. Uh, next one is 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 13 is 26. And last one is 6 plus 6 is 12, 12, 12 times 2, or 12 plus 12 is 24. Okay, so our perimeter goes down as we get closer to a square, like I said, up um, at the beginning of the lesson. Now, area is length times width, so 36 times 1 is 36. Oops. Oh, going the wrong way. Those are all the future lessons that we will learn. Well, the titles of them anyways. Uh, 18 times 2 is 36, and you're going to see a trend here. 12 times 3, 36. 9 times 4, 36. And 6 times 6 is 36. Now, don't forget to put your units in there. Centimeters squared on each one. Now, if you wanted to get... Um, a rectangle that takes up the least amount of edges, then you'd want this one. This one's probably the most likely one that you would do a six by six. But in any case, you will always have the same number of squares, 36. Okay. Um, and I just realized that those... Uh, those units wouldn't actually be centimeters because they are, um, it was a specific to the problem and it was carpet squares, but whatever, we already did it, so that's okay. <laughs> it was a good example of how we use units, um, but in this case, since we didn't have any units at all, then we wouldn't even put units. It would just be 36, 36, 36 uh, square carpet square thingies. Um, anyways, uh, sorry this bit video got a little bit longer than I wanted, but your assignment is on page 133 to 134, um, and it's numbers 1, skip 2, don't do it, and then do 3 to 6.